the i7 has pushed up very aggressively here and that's definitely not a site you want to see hey guys warm here again and today i have a replay of the grill 15 on siegfried line and I wanted to kind of showcase this interesting game because I think this is one of the maybe 1 in 10, 1 in 100 games that something weird happens where both sides of the team push um, different sides of the map and it's a, it ends up being pretty close um, at the end there. Um, so I wanted to showcase this and I guess like how the Grill of 15 has to sometimes adapt and play as uh, the heavy support role uh, because of this the nature of this map uh, there's a lot of <laughs> corridors and a lot of brawling that occurs and so in this game I'm forced to play more of the heavy tank support role so initially in this game you can see there's a lot of TDs on both sides of the, uh, and so Initially, I, I'm thinking I kind of want to hold this one line just because my, my entire team is not really going there But I kind of want to also get some early damage. So I'm trying to see if I can get a shot Across here so you can see that I'm actually looking through here to try to see if I can uh, Get a shot on an unspe unsuspecting heavy or medium trying to flank and then now I'm realizing okay nobody is looking at this nine or nine zero line so I I kind of take it upon myself to try to cover up this flank so moving here trying to go underneath this ridge line so I'm not get uh, so I don't get spotted and I see the 60 TP he's been lit up so trying to get a good shot into him Get a nice meaty, almost 900 damage. A really nice roll there on that 60 TP. And then here, the I-7 somehow made it all the way to our side of the map on this um, in the city here. And now this E3 is kind of getting caught out. And see that 60 TP there, and unfortunately missed a shot. And uh, I think I the one equipment change that I've made since the update to equipment 2.0 is adding the um, enhanced uh, turret traverse uh, thing. What the hell did you just say? Uh, I forget what the equipment is called, but um, I would thoroughly recommend using that equipment. And um, later I'll show you my uh, equipment setup in this tank. But since I made that change, um, I've actually been able to play this tank much, much better. So here moving up into this Yag, get a nice shot into his lower plate because I know he just fired at our Fosh. I don't really understand what our Fosh was, B was trying to do. He kind of goes full retard mode <laughs> and drives forward, only pressing his W key, not really knowing what else to do. Um, but yeah, now in this uh, the current situation, we have the, our mouse and our E5 and FE all focused on this uh, key position here, where the 60 TP and the I7 has pushed up very aggressively here. And that's definitely not a site you want to see <laughs> a gag E100 pulling in front of you. But luckily, I was faster to the trigger than than he was, and that uh, also helps because of the um, equipment that that I use. Um, I really should figure out what that is um but see that t57 heavy he wants to get some action too so uh take him out and then i get spotted here now i'm trying to see if i can get a flanking shot into this i7 um get a really nice meaty shot into his rear end and now just trying to whittle down the enemy's hp here See this FE, I do not want to poke on him. Wait until after he fires. Because um, he'll definitely penetrate me. And then get a really nice, good clutch shot into his tank. So, really great result here. And we're barely keeping up on the HP. We're up by 600 HP so far. Even on, the scores are even. As you, as you can see, like, the enemies have pushed through that field really quickly. <laughs> and... Uh, our, our artilleries are in an interesting 
precarious situation and unfortunately I thought I was going to be able to overmatch the side of that T57 but and unfortunately he took two shots into us and I knew that 60p just fired so take the the opportunity to push forward and <laughs> unfortunately the 430U pushes forward and gets one shotted maybe if he was side scraping he might might not have been penetrated but really he should not be poking um when he doesn't know where the fv is looking and here i make a big mistake here i knew i was spotted should have waited until i was not spotted and stayed behind that building there so a bit of a misplay there and now i don't have an engine and the Object 140 and LT are raining down on our artillery. So a big misplay almost through the game for us. Uh, as you can see, the score lines pretty, pretty close. We're up by one tank and we're up by 400 HP. And soon they're, they're about to take out our artillery. So move here, spot the 140, aim in, get a nice good shot into him. And I'm trying to save my last artillery piece here. I'm trying to see if I can get up here, spot again. I'm able to repair my engine, and luckily, the T92 shotguns that um, LT. Because the reason why I started pushing back or falling back is because I'm, two, I'm on 297 HP, and that Object 140 could easily kill me. And if they LT. Um, got lucky he could easily shoot on the move and that that tank has amazing uh, dispersion even while moving so really um, I had to play pretty cautious here at the end and that object 140 just makes a huge mistake I should not be trying to retreat on top of that um, on top of that ridge line there he should wait till he goes behind the ridge line then um, proceed to uh, advance so now it's just clean up. It's 4v1 artillery piece, so thoroughly won this game in the bag. Um, I think the key, the key thing in this game was winning um, this position here. I still don't know how to use this fixed cam, but um, as you can see over here, a massive graveyard of tanks here um as you can see on the map just a massive graveyard here and here so really this game is this map in particular in these kinds of situations with a bunch of tds and heavies i think the game is thoroughly won in the city whether that's you know playing on this one line and shooting tanks on the side or winning just both these city areas a lot of fighting usually occurs here but in this in this case the enemies were able to push all the way to this a line so really interesting game so let's take a look at the post game stats here all right hey guys this was an ace tanker and a high caliber for doing 20 percent of the team's damage <laughs> we are top on damage and we are also top on experience and three kills pretty decent result here and super conquer also did really well almost 6,000 damage and then you know these these players one shot looks like one or two shots um two shots three shots actually like five shots a bunch of shots and then a bunch of people with just like one shot <laughs> Um, enemy team was pretty well rounded so I think 9 times out of 10 we should have lost this game and so really I think to be to win more of your games you really have to try to win these situations where you know the odds are stacked against you your team just kind of deploys in a weird way or the enemies just are super aggressive down one flank and the biggest thing was just being there as a support heavy or support TD really because um, we didn't really take that many shots but you know, who says that the girl can't play on the front lines um, in a brawling uh, city map? Just making sure that you're aware of when people fire and fire only afterwards. So 13 shots fired, 11 pens, 7.5 thousand damage. Um, yeah, all of it was pretty much close quarters. Um, we actually blocked a heat shell from that T57 
and we netted 14,000 credits. So tier tens aren't really credit makers. I didn't fire any premium this game, and yet still um, pretty quick battle as well. So let me take a look at my equipment setup so I can show you guys. All right, guys, I'm here in my garage. Here in my garage, I just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. And as you can see, here's my equipment setup. I have the improved rotation mechanism. That's what it is. So you get one fire power slot and I would thoroughly recommend putting this improved uh, rotation mechanism in this slot here just because the, the dispersion values on the grill 15 are just absolutely atrocious. And so before I had this, I had the enhanced gun laying drive and yeah, that was... Uh, I think in the the grill, really, the gun handling is just kind of trash. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, good lord. <laughs> and so you really want to boost this up as much as possible. And, you know, you could make the, the argument that you could put the gun rammer in this slot. But I think the additional 1% increase in 1.5% uh, increase in reload time. I think that's a little bit negligible. You could make the argument in that situation that if I was firing a little bit slower, if my DPM was, let's see, it's 3,013, 2,900. You could make the argument that maybe if I was a fraction slower in that game um, or faster, I could have, you know, maybe shot my way out of situations. But I think that if you can't hit your shots, you're not really going to do well. And so that's why the addition of the improved rotation mechanism for the Grill 15 in Equipment 2.0 is just massive for this tank. It kind of feels like a different play style where you can do a little bit more snapshotting as I did in that game against that T57 Heavy as well as the FV. So, and at the beginning against that 62, 60 TP. So, thoroughly recommend using improved rotation mechanism, a rammer, and then obviously optics because you can't get to 445 without optics um let's see my crew yeah i have um situational awareness uh twice actually because on the e25 i was trying to get to max view range without um without using uh chocolate which you can actually get to 444 with using uh, a directive so i have a bunch of these directives Let's see how many do I have? Yeah, I have 100. So, um, for now, I'm going to use this setup and then wait till I can get to 100% on recon. So, hopefully, I won't need to use that. But um, this is what I recommend on the Grill 15. So, hopefully, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And let me know your thoughts on the Grill 15, what your equipment setup is. And I'm going to try to include my equipment setups after my replays. Um, just because I've had a few questions on uh, my recommendations on that. So hopefully you guys learned something here and enjoyed the replay. Take care, guys. Warm out. It's like the Buffett Warm Billionaire says, the more you earn, the more you drive up here in the Hollywood Hills.